story of the day, which is there have been reports all day that 12 uh, of the major European clubs are looking uh, to form a breakaway European Super League. There had been reports that there will be statements either at half past nine or half past ten this evening. Those statements haven't come as yet. There'd be three Spanish teams involved, Barcelona, Real Madrid and Atletico, Juventus, AC Milan and Inter Milan from Italy and the so-called uh, top six, you might want to say <laughs> greedy six if you want at the moment, uh, with the badges uh, behind me. I think like everybody who's had their say on this today, fans, pundits, uh, ex-players, um, there's a sort of dismay and anger amongst all of us, isn't there? Yeah, for sure. Back down the hatches uh, in the north of the UK, we have stormy weather on the way. For most of us, it's not going to be too bad, but for folks in Scotland and parts of northern England, really a very uh, blustery weekend uh, on the way. Uh, some sunshine on offer as well, with a scattering of showers, so say quite a mixed bag on the way. This is uh, the weather map for Friday night into Saturday. The storm is forming just to the west of Scotland. It's called Storm Malik. It's been named by the Danish Weather Service, actually. And the severe gales will develop by the early hours of the morning in the western isles of Scotland. Uh, these strong winds are also going to push in some very mild air um, across the UK, so morning temperatures will be around 10 degrees or so. So let's focus on these warnings from the Met Office first. Yellow warnings quite widely into northern England too, but an amber warning for the east of Scotland. Um, these strong winds affecting uh, Aberdeen, uh, Edinburgh as well, Perth and Edinburgh. So really very strong winds, up to 80 miles an hour in the north of Scotland and certainly gale force winds throughout northern parts of England. Uh, but with that plenty of sunshine, the south of the country though will be a little cloudy at times and our temperatures are a mild one in breezy London, 13 degrees, a 7 degrees in stormy Aberdeen. Take care. Going on uh, in the world of transfers, and uh, some names that we've heard of in the past are coming to the fore again. Andy Carroll is reportedly having a medical at West Brom uh, ahead of a potential right. deal until the end of the season. And now we hear Simon uh, Liverpool concerning a £45 million pound move to sign the Porto winger Luis Diaz. So deals will get done, Simon. Yes. J January is not always a month that people uh, think, well, nah, nothing significant will happen here. There will be deals done, and Newcastle are obviously in the mix as well. Yep. So, I mean, the deadline comes ever closer. With, with um, days, and it will it'll turn out hours to go, Simon, was this a time that you got a bit frantic or did you, did you always just give it, nah, listen, get, uh, keep calm here. Very much. Um, yeah, Obviously, we're I mean, talking like... off the record to a lot of people and, um, you know, there's there's many, many sources involved in, in, in this story. Um, and it's been very loud on social media. But, you know, the biggest purse bid in history uh, total of whatever it was, $72 million. Incredible, really. Um, and I think what comes to, for, with both bids, yeah. um, uh, $41 million from Frank Warren and Bob Arum, um, the bid won by Queensbury officially, of course. Um, and, um, you know, I, I wonder whether Eddie Hearn, he had his figure. He told us he had his figure, $25 million quid, £24 million. Pounds. Um, and both men get a fantastic payday out of it, which is great. 25 million for Tyson Fury, 6 million for Dillian White. Um... Pythagoras, who was perhaps one of the outstanding leaders of the study of number letter relationships, pointed out that man in contemplation, energizing within himself, but not speaking the vowels, that this energization moved into various relationships to himself. So that in, in thinking or internally sounding these vowels, he had the sense of their forming a pattern around him in space. Some of the vowels have to be thought or sounded above, others below, some before and others behind, some in the center. These vowels naturally by their sounds produce patterns that are of the greatest importance. Have they gone? Oh, yeah, 
Oh, come on! Yes, sir. Anyway, get on with the story. Well, I knew she never really liked him, so I... 